three, but a clean look for Torian Prince this time. Garrett Temple knocks it down. A lot of off-ball actions and screening, which has freed up a handful of these players. Lowry. No. And Prince the pocket feed. Allen denied by Ibaka. And he may have hit Ibaka in the face as the rejection happened. As Lowry short, here comes Harris. Ibaka. The best in the league. I know they're missing a handful of players, but the Nets are doing an excellent job on their reads. Jared Allen back in the starting lineup, and he's done a nice job. Some savvy moves by Garrett Temple, some hang time. Looking refreshed and recharged after a game off. That time Temple called for the foul. The left hand, and that was 84-76, second lowest scoring game of the season. As that drops in, but it'll be on the floor. Vinny Atkinson talks about just the energy that he will bring. Is that lob gone awry from Dinwiddie? Here comes Hollis Jefferson in transition. Hollis Jefferson can't lay it in. Rebound batted out to Jordan. Here comes Levert for the rotation recently because of the injuries that Toronto has dealt with. In the corner, Lowry rims out on a three. And one turnover. The Nets with eight as a team, two from Harris, two from Jordan. The others spread throughout as a blocking foul called against Timotei Lewis. So they're, as Kenny Atkinson described before, they're integrated with the coaching staff. They're in every meeting, every decision. As Levert soars in, takes a hard fall. Comfort, we see that already in Levert. You saw the wrap on the right thumb of Levert as Boucher finds a seam and fires it down. Levert currently at six minutes of action as Jordan, the I mean, Luawu Cabarro in a crowd, four defenders just swarming there. Ten turnover for Brooklyn. Lowry loses it out of bounds, and it's still low. By the way, the record for highest three-point field goal percentage was taken at least 40, 60% set by Denver. Ooh. That was in 2018. Where the five out set and just putting Jared Dunker in that. Jared Allen in the dunker position helps because you got an open floor with guys that can penetrate and get to the basket. I thought you were giving him a new nickname, Jared Dunker. As Dinwiddie glides in and finishes. We can call him that. I like it. The very impressive bounce back first half thus far. Saved the turnovers, and that's number 14 from Brooklyn. Lowry connects. And just like that, a little brawls against Toronto. Dinwiddie raises up, can't finish. Here comes Van Vliet. Ibaka led the way with 13 in the first half and seven rebounds as well, and he has been abusing Dorian Prince. Had it almost knocked away. McCaw finds the cutter. Lowry who can't cup it in. Prince the rebound. We got a six-point lead. There's still a ton of time left in this ball game, but doing the little things, taking care of the basketball, trying to make this momentum shift until some of the stoppages of play go in your favor. That's the step on Van Vliet. Whips to the corner for Prince. Off on a three. Rebound in the arms of Lowry. Lowry jets into the front court. Dinwiddie was back. Abaka is held by Prince. Who struggled from the field is Torian Prince. Everyone else has been very effective. Yeah, around 50% or higher as Lowry gets the space. And if you give it to staff, this is his first game back since November 14. Lowry, too strong on a three. Good fight from Hop. That's really what it's all about. In the corner, Terrence Davis knocks down a three. Slinking through the lane, shovels it away. And now the Raptors with their own two for one as Davis gets denied in transition, but a goal tip. Lowry gets right around Chandler, can't float it in, the tip no. But Philadelphia coming up. Levert step back jumpers off. Lowry the rebound. Nets led by 16 towards the end of the second. Raptors ended the second on a 12-0 run and outscored the Nets in the third to take a three-point lead. Only Chicago forces more turnovers than the Raptors. 
Lowry gets the whistle on the Wawu. I didn't know if you made it up. No, no, no. Which wouldn't surprise me <laughs> in the best way possible. Kyle Lowry called for the foul, his fourth. Maybe 2007-ish, I don't know. Kuntz to the corner, and that's going to be a charge. Lowry took the contact, and that's going to get the pass off, and he, he comes from the baseline. Lowry gets enough space, can't hit the three. Chandler deflects it over to Kuru. Bounces to Kuru. Thought about it, now takes too strong. Chandler the offensive rebound, and a late whistle again. And he's going to yep. drop. Yep. Lowry with Luau Cabarro in his face. Hits the three. Dinwiddie into the paint. Can't lay it in. Here comes Lowry. Lowry nearly lost three games. They were a minus 26 in the fourth quarter and outscored in each of them. That's trying to end that tonight. But Van Vliet, 26 for Fred Van Vliet. Allen gets fouled on the lob, and that's going to be the fourth team foul against. Lowry. Ooh, that nearly could have been a push off, and that's what Kenny Atkinson wanted. And it would offensively find where he's at trying to attack. And Fleet finds Lowry. He got it. Those two have the case. That is a lot. Next with 24 turnovers to Toronto's eight as Lowry can't stick that one. It's gonna be he still got some time left. That's right. Nine point game. Nets looking for more stops. Lowry flops it up. Loose ball into the arms of Harrod. Lowry, the hesitation, the lean, and he gets the whistle. Uh, against, we rarely see Joe Harris miss like that. Van Vliet, he got it. What a steal in the fourth. That's one of five, Raptors four of eight. Alice Jefferson finds the cutter, Lowry. He gets the whistle. Troubles on both ends of the floor. It's a great point though, Sarah. Some of those you know, big time opponents will weaken. As Lowry launches.